Hello folks and welcome back to the Move Mad channel, it's James here. I did film a video on Wednesday and I've just put it up last night. It took so long to process though, so long to process I've done it in 4K. And that's just came out this morning on there. So I'm a couple of days behind. My TV's playing, it shouldn't be. Let me just fix that. There we go. So as I was saying, it's it was the the video was actually from Wednesday, and I, I filmed a little bit of uh, pickups after it and showing people what I got. So as I was discussing in the last video, space is now a premium commodity in my collection, and I was going to do one in one out from now on. Well, at least for a month, see how I get on until I can get some, well, until I can get more shelves built or figure out something else. So, I did have 13 titles I took out my collection that I decided to let go. I had a couple of Jackie Chans, Shallow and Wooden Men and Dragons Forever because they've sat on my shelf for five years, okay? Maybe three or four, three, four or five years, and I've never had the urge to go. Let's just watch them. So a couple of them, a few others. I had Invasion USA on eighty eight film films, and I got the box set. Where is it? Did I miss it? Sorry, it's somewhere in there. With the four movies in it, and Invasion USA was in it, so it was like, I really, really need a nice, fancy eighty-eight films copy of Invasion USA. The truth is, I don't. So I done that with about ten titles, and I just decided to trade them in, and I thought, I thought, well, that's actually going to give me a reasonable bit of credit at CX. So twelve out. It was actually thirteen, but I forgot to hand one in. I'm confusing myself now. So it was actually 10 tiles and I had 11th and I forgot to hand that one in. But what I decided to do, I remember that the 4Ks of Mad Max were in CEX at £32. I thought, that's a decent amount of credit. I could now get the 4Ks of Mad Max, which I really do want, like and I'm going to enjoy. So I thought, let's take my Mad Max Blu-rays in as well and I'll trade those in and I will uh, get that, get the, the 4Ks of Mad Max plus a little bit of credit back, a little bit of space for the collection. So we're all winners. And so I decided to do that and I think I ended up with £48 of vouchers but I took, as I say, the Mad Max anthology and I didn't realize that actually has the four movies in it it does and I also thought this is going to be a cardboard sleeve or something like that but it's not it's actually really really nice cases and I've looked at them all this are all in great condition art works great I think well I haven't looked at them all to be fair so I thought that's an excellent excellent box set and they're all good movies. I actually don't like the fourth one with Tom Hardy that much. I liked Furiosa. I think that was better than this one, Fury Road. But I thought that's a great way to save space. And also, I actually have a bit of space up in my box set. So that's going to give me extra shelf space. So well, it's that 12, 12, 13 shelf spaces and the box set goes up top. And the reason that I was telling you the reason I was wanting to do this kind of thing is because, for example, I had Twister sitting on my front of my shelf like that and I knocked it and it fell down. And I was thinking, that's going to get damaged. And that's not that's not a what I want for movies in my collection. So the Invasion USA was an actually one of those steelbrook protectors that uh, Jason's movies and TV sent me, or is it TV movies, I always get that wrong, sorry Jason, and uh, so I thought, well, 
Now that I've done that, I'll just show you in fact. Look, let's go over let's go over here. Twister is now on the shelf in a nice protector. Look, so now he can't now now if he falls off the shelf well, he's not gonna fall off the shelf in there, but just feels so much better knowing that that's not lying about. So, you know, I was a bit hesitant to do one for one. But do you regret it? No, I don't. I thought that was that that what I mean by that is I feel better. I say I've got a little bit of space. I've got one space up there, I've got the odd bit of space around here. I've actually filled it all in already with other stuff that was lying around. So I, st I need to do these things like type of thing again. Uh, technically I should have eight spaces, but I've filled them in. So that was a, a good idea, good idea. So I'm probably going to say, I'm probably going to do that again and try and keep it up for the month of September. So go rid of 12. Probably going to get rid of the 13th in a little while. Let's go back to sitting down. See, got a tiny wee space up there for Mad Max. <laughs> uh, so that is what I uh, I have done. I just want to check the this. I wonder if these are Dolby Vision. So I didn't actually check that. It is Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, so that's going to be good. Yeah, delighted to add this to the delighted to add this to the collection. What are the things that I'm at, I'm actually going to watch? So excellent. So I also seen on another forum, I think it was 4K and Blu-ray collectors, that there was a bit of a glitch on Amazon. Was there two for twenty five movies up? But when you actually put them in your basket, that some of them were coming up two for twenty, or in some cases, if you took Jaws, two for seventeen pound fifty. And I already had Jaws, so I was, but I was tempted to get Jaws 4K, trade it in for eight, and just keep the, and just that would have mean one of the 4Ks cost nine pound. But there was actually two 4Ks in there. One of them which hasn't arrived yet, so I paid twenty for the two. So I'll tell you about the other one once it arrives. But I actually picked up Nobody on 4K. Now I think this is a good film, and really enjoyed it. And I don't have it on any format yet. So I took it. It's also got Dolby Atmos. It doesn't have Dolby Vision on it. It does say it's got deleted scenes. So yeah. So I picked that up in the two for twenty on Amazon. Now I don't know whether I should say these things but I'm going to say I'm a bit of a worrier and I try and be really strict on my movie buy-in so that it doesn't affect anything to do with the household you know bills things like that things like that and it was coming close to payday I was a little bit short but i did purchase on amazon because there was a good deal that came up hannibal for two pound 99 and after i'd done it i felt a bit good but get a bit guilty about that and then subsequently i went in and cancelled it and the reason i done that is because i really don't want my hobby to affect you know, household things. So I've got it's a hobby. I've got you. You know, I've got things from CX, things like that. It's got to remain within budget. So I cancelled it. And yesterday, when nobody came, I received the movie Hannibal, and I was talking about we Roy and um, Larry and I've got a wee group chat. I was talking about a couple of things on there, and I told them what I'd done because I was feeling a bit. And then Roy very kindly sent it to me. I think it's maybe because I got him the fly. I got him the fly at CEX, so maybe he was returning the favour, which is really appreciated. And he has put a, a Amazon came and a, Hannibal, Hannibal was in it. So that's really, 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 really good. Now 
I just want to make sure that I keep within budget this month. So trading in the, the 12 at CX has got me a set that I really want. It's got me some additional credit if I do want to have a look at other things. And I've still got another few things that I might want to trade in. So that's the way I've got to keep on budget. Also, I do occasionally sell a few things on eBay uh, to try and keep myself within, within movie budget. Buy, you know, find something, put on eBay, sell it, use that money to fund back in the collection. And the reason I'm speaking about that now is that I actually got 10 for a pound. Well, it was actually seven because I could have took another three, but I just didn't want, didn't want them. And, you know, I've just culled 350 DVDs, so I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself? But I'll tell you why. Because there was one movie in the 10 for a pound that I have seen clips of, at least I think it's this movie, and I really wanted to watch it. So I thought, for a pound, I get to watch the movie, and I'll show you. They're all in this bag, the seven... The seven... Well, it would have been 10p each, but I did, I'd left another three. So this is the movie that I wanted to see. It's called The Magician. Chilling and cor cor horrifying hilarious, a classic in the making, and it was still sealed. And it's uh, this guy here. I've seen clips of YouTube on, on of this film, I think, and I've always wanted to see the film. It's his rare, swaggering psycho. The magician follows char charismatic yet volatile hitman Ray Shoesmith around Melbourne while he goes about his chilling business. I'm pretty sure this is the, the clips of the movie that I wanted. So I thought, I've never seen this out in the wild before and I've always wanted to see it. So for a pound, I'll take it. I keep trying to justify myself. I spent a pound. It's not like massive. So I took that. And that's the one that I wanted to keep and watch. Keep and watch. So when I was there, there was another sealed one. And I looked it up on uh, Amazon. And it seems that it... Is quite a rare one. It said to buy it used was seventeen pounds, and this one's sealed. So for uh, for ten p, I thought, why not take it? And it's short eyes. It's the brutal and powerful look in the tombs of Manhattan's infamous detention center from nineteen seventy seven. Again sealed. So I thought, you know, I, I I could take this. I could open it and watch it, or I could could put it on eBay. And get my money back, or more than my, more than my pound back, shall we say? Uh, and out of those two, I picked up another five, and I'll just show it, show you. I picked up this one here, which I don't have, which is Shirley MacLaine and Sweet uh, and uh, Sweet Charity. And again, it was sealed. I thought, hmm, why not? Maybe you could trade that. Maybe I can't, but. It can go in my DVD cases. I got rid of 350, but they're all movies that I already have on Blu-ray. So, you know, getting rid of 350 I already have on Blu-ray does mean there is a bit of space. I want to get rid of over 900 in total. I've done 350 one time, 70. I think I've got rid of 500. So there's still another 400 to go out there, which I'm working on. But it doesn't mean that I can't pick up ones that I don't have on Blu-ray and find space for them now. Because I've done that clear out. Still need another 400 though. Uh, next, I picked up this one. Because it's got Ryan Gosling in it. And it said, uh, it said it's pretty good. And I've not got it. And it's uh, Best Actor Ryan Gosling. Outstanding is superb. And it's Half Nelson. I think he plays a, te he plays a teacher. He spends his time outside school on the edge of consciousness. His personal disappointments and delusions have led to serious... Oh, drug habit. So, I picked that one up. Next, I picked this one up. It says, available for DFU on the first time, Roy Russell's A House on Regent Place. It's a collection of four gripping ITV dramas around a Regent property in Brighton. Now, I thought... That would be quite interesting. I think Cameron go, Cameron goes around in Brighton, doesn't he? And Larry's around about there. I thought, oh, might be interesting. So I took that one. This one here, 
to be honest, I just treat because it traded in for 80p. Gil Scott's hair and black wax. And this one here, it's when I've done the same thing. It didn't really, it wasn't really my type of thing, but it traded in for 80p. So this is how I justify myself. So I spent a pound, go trade these two in for a pound 60. Might sell the short eyes one for ten or something like that. Might work. And that gets me money to fund back into my collection. I've got myself a few Blu-rays and a DVDs and a, a nice walk out. Does my logic make sense to me? To you? I'm trying to cut down. I am cutting down. What I mean by cutting down is getting things out of the collection that I don't need. And have no intention of watching. And I did do that with some Blu-rays off the shelf. I've got ready Blu-rays. I've got on Blu-ray 350, 420, 470 already. And so that means I can pick up a few ones that I do have the interest in watching. And you know what? If they sit on the, in the in the DVD case for five years and I haven't got round to them, then I can chuck them out too. Because it only cost me a pound. And in fact, I made my pound back by trading in two of them. Try to convince myself here. <laughs> so that is what I've picked up. That's how my journey is going at the moment. Storage is an issue as always. And that's about it for the this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've uh, not been too bothered with my trying to, trying to convince myself. And I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye. Why is my coaster on the shelf? That's supposed to be on my table for my cup of tea. It does look nice myself there, doesn't it? It's the piles that reside it don't though. See you next time. Bye.